Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for once again bringing us again together. Um, I just want to share this word that God has just laid on my heart. While I was just sitting here just thinking about the word. And, you know, let's just pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for bringing us again today, Father God, on this beautiful day, Father God, that we will rejoice and be glad in it, Father God, despite the outcome is despite how things may look father god we're still going to rejoice and we're still going to praise you and give you all the glory and uplift your holy name in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen so i just want to come on here and encourage somebody i just want to let somebody know when has god not kept a promise to you when has god not kept his promise god is a god that shall not lie his promises has it still stands to this day and let me encourage you let me just give you this word it's genesis chapter 9 verse 13 no i want to read yeah verse 13 to 17 i want to read this to you because i want to show you that whatever god has promised you whatever god has told you he he will keep his promise he will do what he said that he was going to do do not doubt what god is going to do because when you doubt you start to tell god you don't believe that he can't do it god can do all things god ways are not our ways what may seem impossible to man is not impossible to god know that god will do it and he can do it let's not put stip stipulations on him because he is not man god 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 created us in his own image. We did not create God. It's not the other way around. God can do anything. So let me go ahead and read this because I just, this is the, this is going to, whoever this is for is going to stick to you because you're going to know that no matter how long it takes, just know that God is an on time God and that God will show up in his own time. And it, he will, he will bring to pass what he said that he will do in your life. And it's, Let's go ahead and start uh, at 12. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds. It will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When every Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and rainbows appear in the cloud, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the cloud, I will, I will see it and remember everlasting covenants between God and all living creatures of every kind on earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all of the earth. God has already established what he told you. When he said that it's going to come to pass, it's going to come to pass. You see the covenant he made with Noah. Did his promise not stand? It's still standing to this day. Every time you look up in the sky after it, it, it done rain, after it done showered down and it dark clouds, and then you see the rainbow come out. That is God's covenant. That is one of God's promises that he will never flood the land again. So don't, be, so don't believe what the enemy is trying to say. You take those thoughts into captivity and cast them down. Because what God has told you, it will come to pass. Only you can for, forfeit your own promise. Don't allow the enemy to to do what he came here to do. To kill, steal, and destroy. Don't let him to, to kill and steal your promise. Because your promise shall come to pass. Because God never, never lies. And his word still stands to this to this day. Have Be encouraged and know that God's promise is still standing. And that whatever promise he has for you in your life shall come to pass. God bless you. I hope this has encouraged you. Don't you give up. You keep going. You hold on to that promise. You keep that hope. You 
you you it doesn't matter what it looks like still rejoice even when you can even when you feel like you don't have the strength keep rejoicing in praise give god all the glory even thank god for the pain thank god for the hurt thank god for the trouble thank him for it because guess what it's not doing anything but pushing is not doing anything but building your faith in him so thank god for it so till next time stay blessed and put, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and share this with someone. Pass it pass it along because somebody else may need the encouragement as well. Listen, you have a blessed day. I love you and stay prayed up and until um, next time.